Michael Wong. I'm the Putin Clark Endowed Professor in the Department of Lymphoma Myeloma at uh, the uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center. Privilege uh, and honor to present uh, on behalf of my colleagues the longer uh, term follow up uh, on monotherapy, uh, ecolabertinib uh, in relapsed mental cell lymphoma. In this exciting trial, uh, we have uh, a meeting follow-up over 38 months, so more than three years of meeting follow-up. And the data stays very strong in 124 patients. The overall response rate is 81%, not changed. And the CR rate has improved from the initial report of 41% to the current uh, data of 48%. So, the, so with the CR 48%, so the overall response remains stable. The CR rate improved with the time. The uh, duration response was uh, 28 months. The failure-free survival was uh, 22 months. The uh, median for overall response rate after 38 months of follow-up has not been reached. The uh, toxicity profile did not uh, uh, get worse with the time. Instead, it, it, the over the three or four toxicities improved over the time. So the toxicity actually improved over time with less greater really three or four toxicities over a long-term period of 38 months follow-up. So in, in conclusion, this uh, presentation with a uh, oral monotherapy ecolabertinib in relapsed mental cell lymphoma, the overall response rate stayed very effective. The durability is prolonged and the toxicity profile improved over, over a longer period of follow-up. Thank you. So uh, for the MCO patient, this is a wonderful data.